So many test takers find the speaking questions on the Duolingo English test to be the most difficult. So in this video, I'm going to help you by showing you a strategy you can use to ace these questions. This strategy will help you speak for longer, develop your answers better, and use lots of grammatical structures, all of which will help you boost your speaking score. But very quickly, before I share this strategy with you, if you're new here, hi, I'm teacher Luke from DETready.com, and we're here to help you with your Duolingo English test. Let's just do a quick review of the different speaking questions on the Duolingo test. We have read then speak, it looks like this on the exam, listen then speak, where you have to listen to the question, and the speaking sample, which is recorded and sent to the universities you're applying to. And the strategy I'm about to show you today will work for all three of these speaking question types. So what is this strategy? Well, it's called the PPF method. PPF stands for past, present, and future. And the idea behind this strategy is that when you're given your speaking answers, you can talk about your experiences based on the topic in the past, the present, and your ideas for the future. But a quick pro tip, you need to make sure that your answers are closely related to the topic you're given. So for example, if the question prompt on the Duolingo test is this, talk about a book you've read recently, you can describe a book you've read in the past, a book you're currently reading, and a book you want to read in the future. So you're still talking about the main topic, but you are using the PPF strategy. Of course, you don't need to use this strategy. It is not essential to use it, but it is a useful strategy to consider. Now let's go over it by showing some examples. This will help you to understand it better. So we will use this question. Talk about a book you have recently read. What kind of book is it? What is it about? What sort of people would enjoy it? So this question type says recently read, so it's talking about the past. So let's start with the past like this. Recently, I read a very famous book called The Alchemist. It's a story about a young shepherd who goes on a journey to find his purpose in life. The book has a mixture of adventure and philosophy, but it's mostly about finding yourself. I honestly found it very inspiring, and it has helped me think a lot about my own life. Okay, past done. Now let's move on to talk about the present. Right now, I'm actually reading a similar book called The Power of Now. It's similar to The Alchemist because it's about finding yourself and becoming a better person. The main message of the book is about how to be happy by living in the present moment rather than worrying about the past or the future, which is something I tend to do too often. So we've talked about the past and the present. You can see already that I've used different grammatical structures, some past tenses, some present tenses, and how the ideas have extended, which have made my answer longer, which is good. Now let's talk about the future, like this. I'm gonna keep reading similar books in the future because they help me learn more about myself, and I believe it's important to keep learning and growing. And I believe reading these types of books can help me to do that. So that's the PPF method. It's a great way of expanding your answers and speaking for longer and a good way to generate more ideas. After this, you may want to look back at the question prompts and decide if you've answered all of the questions or maybe you need to answer one or two more. In my example, I didn't answer the last one. What sort of people would enjoy it? So of course I should answer this last point and I would say something like this. Moving on to the final question. Books like The Alchemist are good for people interested in self-discovery and personal growth because they provide valuable insights and perspectives. I'm sure books like this can be enjoyed by lots of different types of people all over the world, and especially for people who have an interest in philosophy. So to sum up, I would recommend this book to anyone who asked me. So that's the PPF method. Now you need to learn how to describe a photograph, and this video here will help you. This is another speaking question on the Duolingo English test. So watch this and learn different strategies for describing a photograph effectively. Okay, I'll see you here.